Good morning from Yellowstone. All I gotta say for this intro, or the uh, greeting today, is get yourself a National Parks Annual Pass. 80 bucks, it's good for one year. Gets you free entrance into all the national parks and actually a few state parks. Uh, we are headed over to a boiling river. We're gonna jump in the water. Uh, we're gonna clean these guys off. They're filthy. Josh finally changed his shirt after four or five days, so congratulations, Josh. Thanks, man. And if you remember last night's vlog, Probably covered in banana. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I don't know if the banana hit him uh, in the shirt or not, but he uh, he has a new shirt today. So let's let's all uh, give him a round of applause for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mention so already, we've got an action-packed day. We're gonna try and hit some of the coolest stuff today. Uh, some stuff that these boys wanted to see. We're gonna try and hit up... Uh, the sale. <laughs> we're trying to hit up the, uh, the waterfall. Yes, I think it's called Yosemite Falls. We're gonna hit up Grand Prismatic for uh, Josh. And maybe some grizzly bears? Maybe we're, we're gonna go hug some grizzly bears for Cody. Maybe, uh, you know, we'll have to wait till Alaska. I'm gonna be stealing uh, salmon out of the grizzly bear's mouth. I'm gonna be there. I'm just gonna be like grilling up salmon every day. So um, that's gonna be fun too. I believe this is all hot water coming out, and then it goes down there, and you can see people dam up the river, and then uh, <laughs> jump in the part that's warmer. And obviously, the river out there is going to be uh, cold. So uh, it is packed. It is also a Tuesday. However, it is August 2nd. So all the kids have school off, people are on vacation, enjoying the sunshine, all that stuff. Um, let's go jump in the water. It's a little on the chilly side, yeah, not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, look, look. Oh, woo. oh yeah, it's cold. But the interesting thing about this is that the water, this is like too hot to the touch right here. This, ow, it, 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 it hurts a lot. And then it mixes right here and it creates a whole different temperature, ow. All right, we're gonna get down a little bit and submerge. Woo. Oh, it's like hot, it's like hot fryer oil bouncing on my back. Oh, this is weird. This is really weird. Oh. Woo, it's hot. Oh, it's cold. Woo, it's hot and cold. Oh my gosh. Woo, this is a trip. You guys gotta try this sometime. <laughs> it's like hot right here in the front and then freezing cold in the back and vice versa. Woo. It's like when you put icy hot on yourself. Woo! <laughs> that was nice. That counts as a shower in my book. What do you guys think? Yeah, it was a good Definitely one. Definitely counts. Yep, feeling good? Feeling great. Yeah, it's really interesting uh, and it does get quite crowded, so uh, just uh, anticipate that when you come here. Otherwise, uh, I've been wanting to do this since the last time I came to Yellowstone, which was about a year ago, because only then did I learn this actually existed. And I'm really glad that I came here, because it is awesome. Over at the uh, Grand Prismatic pool over here, the uh, s we got an afternoon sun over here, so it's not the most amazing uh, situation, but it is pretty amazing right here. And we just spotted a little lookout spot across the way, which we may try and hike up to. But this is by far one of the prettiest places you could ever, ever visit here.
Alright, so we're making our way out of the Grand Prismatic and we ran into Aaron, right? Yep. Cool. What uh and you spotted the bus? Yep, saw so spotted the bus in the parking lot. Sick. And you've yeah. been uh following all of our adventures on YouTube? Yep. Sick man. Yep. High five. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you too. And we'll uh, we'll see you around. So with a big wind gust, we we're just walking by and it feels like you're inside of a a steam room and a refrigerator at the same time, depending on which way the wind blows. It's so nuts. Uh, we gotta book it. And uh, next up, we're gonna run quickly over to that other side. There's a trail, there's a lookout. We're gonna try and get a good shot before the sun gets too low. To uh, Julia from California, Hi. San Jose. Yeah, you enjoying the video so far? Yeah, I have. Mom too. And the mom and the dad? <laughs> yes, I am. All right, cool. You guys having a good time at Yellowstone? Yeah. All right, bye. Bye. I mentioned before, summertime in the national parks get pretty busy. I haven't seen anything like this since I was in France in a rental car. This guy is parking his RV on the curb. That guy's my new hero. All right, well, the guys are, uh, Running up to the overlook. I think I'm just gonna chill. I found my spot a little bit down the way, but also I'm gonna try and raid the fridge and see if there's anything tasty in here. Mm. By the way, I had this for breakfast. This stuff is insane. If you guys haven't ha had it before, highly recommend you do. Some of the best yogurt I've ever had. That'll do. I just wrote my second interview uh, response. This one was for uh, Lonely Planet. Yesterday I did one for uh, Forbes, so uh, looks like the guys are ready. I'm gonna go swoop them up, and then we're gonna figure out what on earth to do. It was good though. Cool. Yeah, it was a lot of work to run. Yeah. I was, like, lost all my breath. I bet. It's a little hard to see because the sunlight is so intense, and also uh, my lens is so wide, but right up there is all the steam coming out of the Excelsior geyser, and the Grand Prismatic is to the left. Uh, over here. That's where we were just a minute ago um, and it looks pretty awesome <laughs> with all the steam rising up right, right at sunset. Um, again, one of the most incredible places you could go to. Probably my favorite national park. However, I have not been yet to uh, Glacier National Park and I haven't been up uh, into Alaska yet. Uh, but I have an idea this would still probably be the best one that you could ever go to. Oh look, sunflowers. to uh, me trying to cook the uh, sockeye salmon that Cody caught. I got the little camping set up. I got the pressure cooker, oils inside. This is like, I feel so terrible to do it like this because it's such a nice piece of fish. Um, but the guys are in there working on some stuff. By the way, Jamie's in the distance over there. Enigmatic Nomadics. Hey, <laughs> so uh, we were, he's camped out just outside Yellowstone. We've been messaging uh, back and forth and so swung by to spend the night here and uh, catch up and uh, he's gonna lend me a knife. We got a knife right here <laughs> and a plate. Sharp enough. I got a plate cool. if you want to put the thing on the plate. Nice. And I don't know what time it is or what time of year it is when you're watching this but it's uh, <laughs> August and it's about 50 degrees outside so it's pretty awesome. This is amazing especially we're going to Salt Lake he just came back from the Salt Lake area, and at nighttime, I'm guessing it's gotta be in the 70s, which when you're in a vehicle is really difficult. By the way, I'm gonna cut off a good eight inch piece and then give the rest to uh, to Jamie. This is uh, <laughs> Josh's sockeye, so sockeye salmon caught by Cody, fried up in the most primitive way. I swear, this has gotta be the first piece of salmon that's ever been cooked in a pressure cooker. Uh, <laughs> on the ground. On the ground with a camping stove, yep. using only olive oil. There's some lemon over here, but I'm gonna put this away and I'm gonna start cooking my piece, which is that, because I'm starved. What do you think? Wait, let's get more. <laughs> you got some bones in there. You're you're not looking forward to bones. Yeah, there's a lot of bones. I have to figure out what to do yet. I'll figure well, that take, out. Take a piece over there. I mean, there's no bones in this part. How you know? Because I know that's a belly. <laughs> there's no bones in the belly. 
belly tastes better. Yeah, it's more fat. How do you, what, what do you think? I think it's really, really good. Cause I just so I literally just cut a whole half lemon, just squeezed the whole thing on it, <laughs> and it's it's good. It's all protein. It's a healthy uh, late night snack. Yep. Yeah. So we're, we're doing it, man. We're making it out here. <laughs> Here's the uh, sockeye salmon. Um, cooked it the same way I did the last piece, and I don't have three arms. Otherwise, I would do everything. But I'm gonna take a bite of this, and Can I'll just. Hold the uh, you could hold the hold flash. Light. There we go. Thanks, Jamie. Yep. All right, here we go. Oh my God. Confidence to the chef. <laughs> it's so hot. But it's so delicious, it's isn't good. it? It's really good with the lemon. It's so good. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And um, comment. Like all that fun stuff. We'll see you on the road tomorrow.